Hey, what's going on? I wanted to post a quick video on our little um, <laughs> foray into the Segway netting bot world. Um, and I, I just was finding a hard time getting the video on this, but really what I want to post is how you uh, take the hubcap off on this thing. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you're like me, you kind of want to read a video before you go yanking on stuff. But what I'm doing is I'm switching the hubcap from this uh, black Segway over to this uh, white Segway. So if you want to take the hubcap off, all you got to do is get under this little lip right here, lift up, and as you lift up, that little piece is going to pop right off. You're going to do that uh, around, the, around all four of those. Then you're going to get yourself a little, uh, let's see what this is. This is a, I'm pretty sure this is a T15 bit right here. I'll double check it here, make sure. So you know exactly what kind it is. Let's see if I can take the bit out from one hand. Yeah, this is a, sorry, I take it back. It's a T10 bit. So T10 is a torque size. I just happen to be doing it in my little normal DeWalt way of doing things. So there's gonna be one screw in each one of these. I'm going to put this in, pop it out remove the screw, and do that on all of them here. Um, once you pop it out, I'll do this really quick here so I can do it one-handed. Once you pop it out, you end up seeing the outside of the motor mount. I think these look wicked. I think it, I just, I think this just alone looks really cool, especially on the black Segway. I'm gonna end up putting a uh, uh, off-road style tire on here. I think that looks cool. Um, so, the reason we're switching the cap from the white cap to a black cap eventually here is because we ended up somehow with two of these nine bot go-karts. And when I'm out there working on them, playing with the kids, I can't figure out which cart I'm connected to. So what I'm gonna to do to keep them a little different is this one is gonna have a white cap and that one's gonna have a black cap. So that'll be the black race car and this will be the white race car. So that's why we're doing all this. Just a quick note, originally we didn't start with two race cars. Originally we started with a couple segways. Uh, this is the original one we had. We got on sale on, on an Amazon sale. Um, so the 9Bot Mini Pro, these are both 9Bot Mini Pros, but this is the 9Bot Mini Pro that we originally got, and it only has a 4300 milliamp battery, whereas this is the one that we ended up buying for just specifically for the go-karts, and it has a 5700 milliwatt battery. When you look at them, they don't really look any different size-wise. They're just changing... I think the capacity of the actual um, little uh, batteries they're using inside these packs. So they just use a, a battery with more capacity. Um, so it's not going to look any different. I, I know I've seen videos where you can switch these. Um, I don't really want to get into all that. Uh, plus if you take it apart you end up breaking this little warranty sticker. But uh, you know we've been playing with these things even though it's winter and you Definitely want the biggest battery you can possibly get. Because um, what we found is uh, these things chew through batteries. Um, it, it, it's, it, it's pretty heavy uh, once you have all the frame and all that. Uh, so you end up eating up the battery pretty quick. So if I was doing it again, I definitely would have bought just these larger um, Mini Pros with a larger battery pack for the go-karts. It's okay, we still wanna use this just as a, a segue, so it's gonna work out for us, but uh, if you're looking at just this go-kart, I would, I'd look at the bigger battery pack for sure. Um, what I can tell you on the go-kart real quick is it is beautiful. Um, this thing is just gorgeously made. Um, it's got lots of nicely made custom pieces. E even the design is just, it's just spot on. And just to give an example of that, um, here is the uh, here's the seatbelt attachment. 
Now they could have went out and got like a $10 plastic, not even that, like a 30 cent plastic seatbelt cover. But this is all like anodized aluminum um, pinned that they've made, uh, CNC'd. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. This is like, uh, this is the level of finish they've used on this thing. Um, it's a toy, but it is every bit as nice as as like a little baby race car would be. I mean, they've used solid frame. Uh, it's all got a steel frame underneath the whole thing. In fact, when you come around to the front, you'll see there's a steel tubular frame right here that runs the length of the cart. This is how it expands. And that frame runs all the way around to the back. Um, really, really, really well made. I mean, it's gorgeous. Um, it's not super fast, but you're only like two inches away from the ground and it's an electric motor. So it's zero to fun in about two seconds. Um, it's got this very simple hand brake system. So when you slam the brakes on, the braking mechanism just squishes the back tires. That is super effective at like, it's been icy. So we, we've been out doing some power slides. Um, it's great. I mean, this is really good. So hopefully that helps somebody who's looking at getting these kind of segues. And, uh, you know, I don't know how we ended up spending this much money on stuff, but it's definitely worth it. I think once this becomes a little off-road segue with some big monster tires on it, it's going to look sweet. Uh, you know, life's short. you got to have some fun, and this, is, uh, this has been worth it. So hope it helps.